Mm. Oh, 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 hello. Mm. I didn't see you there. Welcome, welcome to another Hair Center Nature sing along. We apologize for the technical difficulties. We hope you have found us at the new link. Goodness gracious, technology can be a challenge, but we're going to go on with the fungus sing along. My name is Wicket. I represent the Ewok people from the planet Endor. It is my great privilege to introduce today's fungus-themed sing-along with one of my own compositions. <clears throat> They've spent many hours preparing this for you today, and I hope you enjoy my song. <clears throat> this one is called... The Wonders of the Fungus Kingdom. <clears throat> me, 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 me. That must be in tune. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, these mandolins are hard to tune, I tell you. <clears throat> fungus, 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 mushroom, 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 mushroom. Fungus, 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 mushroom, 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 mushroom. Fungus, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Celebrate the mushrooms. Celebrate the mushrooms. We're gonna celebrate the mushrooms. Thank you, thank you. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that introduction to today's fungus sing-along. I hope more of you are tuning in as the moments pass with this new link live. And now it is my uh, uh, great privilege to introduce the host of today's sing-along. Wh what's your name again? Uh, uh, Wicked, it's John. What? What? My name is John. What? Juan? Uh, uh, yeah, close enough. Please welcome. Juan! Oh, thank you, Wicket, for that wonderful introduction. Is your own original song. What a what better way to start out today's fungus sing-along than with some real Ewok music. They like mushrooms, just like I do. Here's my new shirt. I hope you like it. Check it out. Everyone knows I'm a really fun guy. Do you get it? Fun guy. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. So, the world of fungi is our topic for today's Harris Center sing-along, and we're going to keep on going to have our full half an hour, maybe more. We'll see how much time we can get in together today. So, let's see, everybody. Let's begin talking a little bit about fungus. Raise your hand if you have ever seen a mushroom growing somewhere outside. Ooh. So maybe you've seen one growing on the ground, up through the leaves. Maybe you've seen them growing from dead trees or maybe tree stumps or logs. There's all kinds of places you can find mushrooms growing. And that is one of the very coolest parts of a fungus that we can see growing all around us. So right here, I have an example of a mushroom growing out of a branch, out of a log here. This is called a birch polypore mushroom. We'll talk a little bit more about some different kinds of mushrooms later. But what I want to tell you to start up today's fungus sing-along is that there's more than just the mushroom. There's more than meets the eye to the world of fungus. In fact, the most important part of fungus is hidden inside of the dead wood or maybe in the soil, in the dead leaves, all those places where there might be dead plants or even dead animals in the environment. That's where you're gonna find this very special hidden part of fungus. And the word for this is one of my very favorite words. We're gonna be learning that word and singing that word together today. And it is, do you wanna tell us what it is, Wicket? I would be delighted. The word is, Mycelium! Can everyone say that together? Mycelium. One more time. Mycelium. 
how I like to remember that word is I pretend it's a little argument. So uh, you want you want to try this with me? Uh, Wicked Pie would be delighted. Uh, so hey, check it out. There's some mycelium. Uh, don't you mean mycelium? No, actually, excuse me. It's mycelium. <laughs> My make to differ. It is mycelium, etc. So. Mycelium is a very special part of fungus, and maybe some of you have seen mycelium before. Has anyone ever looked maybe under a log or maybe on the ground looking carefully under some leaves where it's kind of wet, and you might see some little white strings or yellow strings kind of growing? And you might have not even realized what that was. Maybe you thought it was a spider web, or maybe you didn't even notice it. But that, my friends, is mycelium. And mycelium is growing all around us, under our feet in the soil, in all of the trees around us, especially dead trees. And really, it's all around us, especially if you live near a forest or any kind of ecosystem, there's gonna be mycelium, trust me. But you might not see it unless you know where to look. So our first song today is one that I'm gonna teach you. And it is one called, my, 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 mycelium. So let's see if we can get our lyrics together today for the my, 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 mycelium song. And thank you, assistant, for helping us today. Yoda, is that you helping out? Yoda? Oh, just go ahead and come out and take a bow. What a helpful little Jedi warrior and master. Help him with those lyrics. Maybe we'll see more from Yoda later. All right, so let's try to get our uh, screen set up here for the, maybe let's shift it over this way. That would be kind of nice, actually. Sort of like, maybe like that, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Can we see all the lyrics at once? Welcome to the future. Okay, cool. Can I get a peek in there? <laughs> all right, I think that'll work right there. I'll have my lyrics. Okay, my friends, so. We're going to start the first song today for the fungi theme to sing along. And by the way, you can say that word different ways. It's spelled F-U-N-G-I, but you can say it fungi. You can say it fungi. You could even say fungi. It's all okay. It's all scientifically accurate. But I'm going to say fungi today because that way my shirt makes sense. So I think that's what we're going to say today. All right, so let's learn the My, 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 Mycelium song. And it's all about those little threads of hidden fungus, the mycelium that are growing all around us in the soil and in all of the dead trees and dead plants. And we're gonna learn a little bit about what mycelium is and what it does that is so important in this song. So, make sure I'm in tune, just like uh, Wicket was telling us earlier, those uh, mandolins, they get out of tune really fast. If you didn't know, this instrument that I play is called a mandolin. It's kind of like a guitar, but has a different number of strings, kind of like a cross between a guitar and a violin. And it is both my and Wicket's and Yoda's favorite instrument to play. All three of us, we have triple mando jams here. All right. So let's try the chorus of the My, 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 Mycelium song. And we'll start kind of slow like this. I'll sing it for you. We'll repeat it. My, 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 mycelium. It's mycelium. My, 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 mycelium. Mycelium. My, 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 mycelium. Ooh, in all the dead trees and the logs. All the twigs and leaves that fall, something's gotta break them down so they don't just lie around. I'm talking about the best decomposer around. It's mycelium. It's mycelium. All right, so let's try the whole chorus together. There's kind of two parts to it, so I bet you guys are gonna pick it up this time. <clears throat> Clear your throat. Me, 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 ready to sing. Okay, one, two, 
My, my, my mycelium, it's mycelium, my, my, my mycelium, mycelium, my, my, my mycelium, ooh, ooh, in the dead trees and the logs, all the twigs and leaves that fall, something's gotta break them down, so they don't just lie around, I'm talking about Everybody, that, that last ooh is optional, but you know, if you want to go really dramatic like I just did, you can totally join me with that. Uh, let's see, let's learn the verse of the song now. There are two, I believe, actually, there are three verses of the My, 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 Mycelium song. And the verse one, I'm going to teach you right now. And the rest of the verses have pretty much the same uh, melodies. I hope it will be not too hard to learn. Uh, this first verse with me now, it's like this one, two, three. When I go outside walking, wonder what's below my feet. Remember there's a hidden web of fungi we don't see. And if I find a rotting log, I gently look beneath. And I see the tangled threads of yellow and white. Well, what could that be? Let me go to the chorus again. Where we say the my, 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 my ceiling. Let's try that whole verse one together, though. Let's see if we can try that again. I, I'll see if I can get that last part. It's a little tricky, maybe, at the last part of the verse, but let's just try our best again. Ready? Verse one. One, two, three. When I go outside walking, wonder what's below my feet. Remember there's a hidden web of fungi we don't see. And if I find a rotting log, I gently look beneath. I see the tangled threads of yellow and white. Tell me what could that be? To the chorus. It's my, 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 mycelium. It's mycelium, my, 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 mycelium. Mycelium, my, 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 mycelium. Ooh, in the dead trees and the logs, all the twigs and leaves that fall, something's gotta break them down so they don't just lie around. I'm talking about the best decomposer around. It's mycelium. Keep the trees and ecosystems healthy. 
Mycelium is key. Chorus. I'm talking about my, 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 my mycelium. It's mycelium. My, 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 my mycelium. Mycelium. My, 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 my mycelium. Ooh, all the dead trees and the logs, all the twigs and leaves that fall. Something's got to break them down so they don't just lie around. I'm talking about the best decomposer around. It's mycelium. Mycelium. Nice job, everybody. That was the My 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 Mycelium song. I hope more of you are tuning in live. This um, live cast will be posted maybe forever on YouTube, on the Hair Center's YouTube channel. So I apologize if you weren't able to tune in live. We had to switch the event. So a lot of you that were waiting had to you know, find the new event. Uh, I apologize about that. I will remind you that all these lyrics you can download uh, from the Hair Center's webpage, haircenter.org slash singalongs. And I believe there's a link right uh, on the YouTube page here. So if you wanna uh, download those to have them at home, that's where you can find them. Uh, so that was our My 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 Mycelium song, all about the most important part of fungus that you usually don't see unless you really investigate, but it's all around us, growing in soil. It even connects to the roots of trees and helps to feed the trees. I mentioned that in the song. It actually uh, absorbs and digests all the nutrients in the leaves and all the dead plants on the ground. It breaks them down really fast, sucks up all that good stuff, and it actually shares some of those nutrients with the trees and some water. And then the trees share some of their special food, the sugars they make from their leaves using the sun for energy, they share that with the, the fungus, the mycelium. So they have a special partnership called a symbiosis, and it's pretty cool. And scientists are just starting to learn how cool it is. So if you want to know what mycelium looks like, you should at some point, maybe not right now, but later, uh, use your favorite search engine. My favorite is called Schmoogle, and then you can search for mycelium, and you can see pictures of it, and then you'll know what to look for if you want to go outside and peer under some logs or some pieces of bark on the ground and look for those stringy threads, usually pretty whitish kind of spider webby threads, and that's mycelium at work, digesting the dead wood, breaking it down, all those dead nutrients, releasing it back into the soil so it's healthy for all those plants to grow in, and also, like I mentioned, actually connecting with the trees, feeding the trees, and believe it or not, the trees can talk to each other Ooh, through the network of mycelium. They can send messages, they can warn each other about danger, they can do all kinds of things that we're just beginning to learn about. So I think mycelium is one of the coolest things in nature that we're just beginning to understand. And you kind of have to investigate and maybe do some research to know what's going on, but it's all around us. And I hope you can find some mycelium. And remember that has a very important part of uh, what keeps the forest healthy. Whenever you find it, you can say, why thank you mycelium. And it maybe if you listen carefully, it'll say, you're welcome. So let's go on to our next song, everybody. Now, how many of you have seen mushrooms growing? I asked that question earlier. I'm gonna ask it again. All right, so I bet most of you have noticed mushrooms before in the forest. That's the part of the fungus that actually grows out in the open where we can see it. And mushrooms have all kinds of amazing colors and shapes and sizes. I'll show you just a couple that I have here in my personal collection here. If you find a mushroom, uh, you shouldn't just go ahead and pick it or, or break it off. You should leave it in nature when you become more of an expert and learn about collecting mushrooms and how to do that in a, a way that's good for the environment, then you can start to have a collection like mine. But I just want to remind you, uh, always just observe mushrooms when you see them. And then later on, when you become a little more knowledgeable, you can learn how to even collect mushrooms uh, for different reasons. So here is a, an example of a shelf mushroom, also called a polypore. This one's called the red belt, because look, it kind of has like a red belt around it. 
And uh, the red belt shelf mushroom is a very cool one that you can find growing on dead trees. You can find other ones that look kind of similar to this, but maybe have different colors and shapes. Ooh, here's another big one. I think this one is actually an older red belt. And you can find ones called artist conks that actually people will make drawings in sometimes underneath. There are some very cool shelf mushrooms and they're gonna be mentioned in this next song I'm gonna teach you. Uh, you can also find mushrooms in the forest that have what we call gills. Well, first I should mention that these shelf mushrooms, if you look really carefully, it's hard to see because they're so tiny, but these smooth surfaces on the bottom, if you look super, super duper close, you see tiny little holes that are called pores. And here's a mushroom, I think you can actually see the pores a little better. Look at that, zoom in there, all those tiny holes. Now this is a clue about what mushrooms are doing. They all have a special job. Every mushroom you see is doing something very important for the fungus. And from these tiny little holes that are called, everybody say, pores comes out little microscopic tiny teeny little particles that are called spores can you say spores all right so it's a little tricky to remember but i'm gonna give you a little phrase to try to repeat to yourself ready pores make spores want to try that pores make spores. So the pores, you can see these tiny little holes, and from these holes come little bitty seeds is kind of like what they are, the seeds of a fungus. And those little spores are so small, they float right into the air, and even one mushroom can make millions or even billions of spores. There's so many, and they float around all through the air. In fact, believe it or not, you're probably breathing in spores right now, but they're so small, you don't even know it. It doesn't even bother you at all. So those little spores are floating around, and when they land, on the right kind of environment, maybe a nice dead branch like this one, that little spore is gonna be growing into little threads of, guess what? What was that new word we learned that we sang about in the last song? My, 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 mycelium, mycelium. That's what grows from the spores. And inside of this branch, you can imagine all these little threads of mycelium that are growing, digesting, breaking down little by little, this branch, back into soil, and then once in a while, when the time is right, maybe after a rainstorm, that mycelium is gonna sprout out, guess what? A mushroom, like this little polypore mushroom from this birch branch here. And there are so many kinds of mushrooms you can find. I have a few in my collection here, I'll show you really quick. We've got a nice little beautiful one that has bright orange color called the cinnabar polypore. This is one that's kind of cool that has kind of big pores, hexagonal pore, polypore. I love to go out hiking with my mushroom guides that I use to try to identify different kinds of mushrooms and try to figure out all the different species, all these amazing different colors and varieties we have growing around us. One of my very favorite things to do, and especially a little bit later in the year, once it starts to get a little bit uh, maybe warmer in the middle of summer and after it's been raining at some point, that's when the mushrooms really get going and into the autumn time as well. So uh, I hope you can all get out for some mushroom hunting. And this next song is going to be a little bit more about mushrooms and some of the fun different kinds you can look for. It's going to mention, oh, shelf mushrooms. You learned about those, those big tough ones. You can definitely find shelf mushrooms all through the year, even in the winter time if you live here in New Hampshire, because they're tough and they keep growing often for many years. They can get pretty huge sometimes. So keep your eyes open for different kinds of shelf mushrooms. Uh, many mushrooms, though, they only grow for a short period of time, maybe just uh, a few days even or a week, and then they kind of break down. But they've already done their job. They've sent out all those little, what are those little things called again? Spores. That's right. Remember, pores make spores. Or sometimes, with other kinds of mushrooms, we have what are called gills. And I have a gilled mushroom I can show you. Um, I'm kind of waiting for some real good gilled mushrooms to show up, but I think I've got a good one right this kind of gives you, well, here's a little bit of an idea. These are kind of, these are actually uh, pores, to be honest. But, you know, if you see these little ridges underneath, kind of like little lines, like a bicycle, uh, bicycle spokes, those are called gills. And now those are also little structures that make those spores that head out into the environment. And then the mushroom might break down and get eaten by slugs or maybe even humans. There are edible mushrooms. We'll mention that in the song. Uh, but this mycelium continues to survive. So the fungus isn't dead. It doesn't die after the mushrooms break down or get eaten. It's kind of like when a tree grows an apple. 
when the apple gets eaten by a person or maybe a bird and maybe carries that apple somewhere else. It drops the seed maybe so it can grow into a new tree, but the apple still survives. It continues to grow there maybe for many years. And the same thing with mycelium, it just sprouts out those mushrooms whenever it's the right time to send those spores out. So let's go to our next song together. And this one, I was, you know, kind of inspired by my cool new shirt uh, to write a song that has sort of that joke in it about being a fun guy. And this one's called, Everyone Knows I'm a Fun Guy. <laughs> so let's see if we can learn the chorus together. This is a pretty easy song. I don't think this one will be too hard to learn together. The chorus especially is not too tough. So I'm teaching it to you girls like this. There's kind of some calm responses things, some little parts where you can shout. And uh, you know, I think at some point, I bet one of our assistants can, I mean, after we practice it once, they'll, they'll know when to do the little shouts and they can jump in and remind you when it's time to do those little shouts. So we'll see what happens. I don't know, we'll see. Um, this chorus goes like this. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy! Not <laughs> Let's try that again. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy! Not a plant or an animal, I don't need the sunlight, I digest all my food on the outside. That's right! I'm a fun guy! Every course we have that fun kind of dramatic ending. So let's try that whole chorus together with those little responses. See if we can do it. One, two, three, four. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy! Not a plant or an animal. I don't need the sunlight. I digest all my food on the outside. That's right! I'm a fun guy. Nice. So that's the chorus we'll keep coming back to. And let's try a verse together. Okay. And just remember the chords to that verse. And... Oh, yeah, totally. All right. So let's try the first verse, which is a little bit about when you go looking for mushrooms, it mentions how after the rain is a good time and some of the different kinds of things you might find. So some things we've already talked about will be in this verse, like the pores and the gills and the spores that they release into the air. Let's try it together. Well, I'll try it first, and then I'll see if you can learn it. After the rainstorm, I walk in the forest to see what there is to see. I see colorful mushrooms of all shapes and sizes growing and peeking at me. Some have gills and some have pores, but they all have one job to do. They send out billions of tiny spores that grow into new fungi, it's true. Wanna try the whole first verse together? Here we go. One, two, three, four. After the rainstorm, I walk in the forest to see what there is to see. I see colorful mushrooms of all shapes and sizes growing and peeking at me. Some have gills and some have pores, but they all have one job to do. They send out billions of tiny spores that grow into new fungi, it's true. Chorus, one, two, three. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy! Not a plant or an animal. I don't need the sunlight. I digest all my food on the outside. That's right! I'm a fun guy. Let's, let's try the next verse, verse two. All right. <clears throat> Man, look, I had a tune again. Gosh, how did that happen? All right, um, let's let's let go. Did you have a, you have a, a little bit of um, uh, Jedi kind of uh, dancing you'd like to do really quickly while I'm tuning my mandolin? So Yoda, I mean, he's pretty good at you know sort of uh, his sort of Aikido like Yoda uh, 
Jedi dance? Why don't you keep showing show that dance you were working, doing today that you showed me? Yeah, no, yeah, I love that part. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, the twisty part. How do you? How does he do that? He floats in the air. He twirls around. He's a true Jedi master. He just hovers around, man. I'm giving him mandolin, les mandolin lessons, and he's giving me Jedi lessons. So hopefully, if everything works out, I'll be able to do that pretty soon. All right. Let's keep going with a tuned up mandolin for verse two. This one talks a little bit about some of the different types of mushrooms, including one that I love called puffballs. They're little round mushrooms, and when you poke them, you can actually see the spores burst out, like little puffs of yellow smoke. It mentions that in the lyrics, and also mentions how mushrooms are, some of them very important for food and medicine, but some are very poisonous and very dangerous if you wanted to eat them which you shouldn't do. <laughs> so it's about how to be careful about that too. So let's do this last verse two and then into the chorus again. Maybe we'll try like, see what happens. Verse two, one, two, three, four. Some mushrooms are tough and look kind of like shells. Others have stems and caps. But my favorite mushrooms, I have to admit, are puffballs that shoot spores when you give them a whack. Lots of mushrooms are important for us. They give us medicines and food. Others are poisonous. You better beware. I'd become a mushroom expert first if I were you. <laughs> Gotta work on some of the timing of these last parts of it. Let's try that all together, verse two. Verse two? All right. Some mushrooms are tough and look kind of like shells. Others have stems and caps. But my favorite mushrooms, I have to admit, are puffballs that shoot spores when you give them a whack. Lots of mushrooms are important for us. They give us medicines and food. Others are poisonous, and you better be where I'd become a mushroom expert first. If I were you. Let's try the chorus. One, two, three. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy, not a plant or an animal. I don't need the sunlight, digest all my food on the outside. That's right. I'm a fun guy. Let's do the chorus one more time. Wicked, do you want to join us for the big finale here? I think you do. Okay, all right, let's do one more chorus together. The Everyone Knows I'm a Fun Guy song. All right. Ahem. One, two, one, two. Everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone knows I'm a fun guy. A fun guy, not a plant or an animal. I don't need the sunlight. I digest all of my food on the outside. That's right. I'm a fun <laughs> Guy. Whew. That was intense at the end. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our Harris Center fungus themed sing along. That last song talked about some of those different kinds of mushrooms. And believe me, there are lots, lots, lots more. So if you want to learn more about mushrooms, I highly recommend you get a super cool field guide. This, If you live around New Hampshire, this is one of my favorites. You should check this out. Uh, get it on the internet or something. Not very expensive. If you want to do a little fancier, they make some even more fancy guides. And I am still learning so much about fungus and mushrooms all the time whenever I do research whenever I go out in the woods and try to identify new species. And I think it's pretty darned exciting to learn about the world of fungi, to look out for mycelium, see if you can find some mycelium out there, maybe in the forest or some area near where you live where you might have a dead uh, branch or log. Look underneath and I bet you might find some mycelium. And when you're out walking, just imagine all that mycelium in the soil networks of it, just going for miles and miles, all connected to the tree roots, to each other. Lots of amazing stuff happening under our feet. 
when you start to pay attention. So everybody, it's been wonderful to lead another Harris Center sing along with you. We've got more coming uh, each Wednesday, maybe at noon, maybe a little afternoon. We'll hopefully get the technical difficulties uh, figured out for next week. But thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned a little bit about the world of fungus and mushrooms and get outside and do some exploring. See if you can find some evidence of fungus for yourself. So. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, assistants, could take a quick bow. Uh, what are you guys doing? We're not, we're not done yet. Come on, taking your union break. There they are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for listening and singing along. And I'll see you next time for another Harris Center sing along with me, John Benjamin from the Harris Center. Have a great day, everyone.